hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel this video is going to be about binge worthy shows that i think you guys will be interested in and will want to watch especially during these hard times when we really basically are at home doing nothing and most of us are tv fanatics so we have like shows that we want to watch but we don't know we watch so many that we don't even know what we want to watch so here are some shows that i think you guys can binge and by binge i mean shows that you can watch and you get hooked on like right away like you see the first episode and you want to watch the next and the next and the next so hopefully these shows you guys will be interested in so the first show that i'm gonna recommend it's actually it's two shows but it's gonna count as one because i think they're both different shows but they both like i don't know i will put them in the same categories even though they're two completely different shows and those shows are law and order and Criminal Minds. So, if you if you <laughs> have not watched an episode of Law and Order, like where have you been? Like I don't understand who has not. I haven't met one person who hasn't watched Law and Order. So that show has like a thousand seasons, and the shows you don't have to watch it in order. But sometimes the season it has like a, a storyline in the background that you guys should follow. And if you start from the beginning, it's even better because you like. You feel like you know Olivia Benson and like that's your best friend and you get to see like her from a street cop to becoming the lieutenant and like it's amazing. She deals with so much. She goes, she's one of the best cops on TV and I feel like she's a cop in real life. Like she's the best cop ever. And then in Criminal Minds, even though I said they're like the same shows, they're really not. This one is more about um finding like they're on the profilers. So they make like a profile about who they think the criminal is. Like let's say if the guy like they find out that he killed animals when he was little then they'll say oh he's a psychopath and blah blah, blah. it's really good once you watch one episode you're gonna want to watch like the next and the next one because they're like crazy like some of the topics that they talk about in these shows they're actually real and they really happen and like ever since i started watching these shows i've been paranoid but i've been aware and it makes you smarter because sometimes i feel like i could be a uh, uh, what is it a criminal and now a sister whatever it's called but yeah it's criminal minds and law and order they're both they have like three thousand episodes and you guys will definitely be hooked on them okay so the next show that i'm going to recommend it's called the 100 this is a show that's on the cw yeah i know people think that just because it's on the cw show it's going to be like some whack teenage show that's not going to be good but <laughs> the 100 is so good like one of the best shows CW has ever done. It's about a hundred kids that were like put in jail in this spaceship because the Earth got destroyed, and now they have to live in space. So they're sending the the government people or like the leaders in space. They're gonna send the one hundred criminals down back to Earth to see if the Earth is good. So they don't even know if the Earth is good. They're just like sending them there just to test it. Like they don't care if these people die or survive. They're just sending them down there. And when the people get back to Earth, yo, shit hits the fan. Everything is, like, crazy. There's people that survived the Earth's extinction. So, like, they're, like, going against the new arrivals that came. And, like, there's mutated animals. And, like, it's crazy. It's, like, I don't know how to explain it. It's, like, survival of the fittest there. And <sighs> it's crazy. It's one of the best shows. And you guys should watch it, definitely the next shows it's three shows but they're all like in the same universe and they're by dick wolf the guy who created law and order so y'all know it's already gonna be good so the shows are chicago fire chicago pd and chicago med so obviously one show is about the police department the intelligence unit they go after like criminals in chicago the other one is about the fire department and the other one is like a medical show it's so good like the characters are so well developed like one let's say in the beginning you hit a character like by the next week episode that's gonna be your favorite and like in this show don't get attached because a lot of main characters like most of the people on the cover they're not even there anymore because they get killed or crazy stuff happens it's one of the best shows is like the cliffhangers and the season finales of these shows are crazy it like it ends and then you're like i have to wait three more months to find the new to find out what happens and that's like the best thing since it's like 
on season seven of each so you don't have to like wait three months you just watched it and then you can watch the next one and the next one and the next one so this is definitely a binge worthy watching show it's so good the next show i'm gonna recommend is actually how many shows one two three it's four shows but like they're all again in the same universe it's the arrowverse so the first um show is arrow again on the cw whatever but Arrow is about, you know, the comic the comic book character Arrow. He starts his team and they're in what is this? Star City? Is it Star or Central? Whatever. Whatever city are they in in the comic books. He's there. He makes a team. He was like on an island and his the the boat went down and everybody thought he was dead. But he was actually there training to become like a assassin savior or whatever. And then when he comes back, he's like has the identity of the arrow but everybody thinks he's just oliver queen this like this spoiled rich kid but he's really not he's the arrow and it's amazing and it's like if you like comic books and marvel this is like one of the best comic book shows ever and then from there it starts you get the flash you get um supergirl and you get um what else the batwoman or catwoman batgirl it's actually it's like batgirl. batwoman so that's the name of the show, show. It's four other shows that come after, so that's like twenty thousand episodes, and you guys can watch them all because they'll get you hooked right away. And it's like you had nothing better to do, so you might as well watch a show that's has other shows and is a lot of episodes. It would definitely kill time. So the next show I'm gonna recommend is The Blacklist. This show is about Reddington. He's like, what is he? He's a criminal. Who knows he has a list of like the, the top criminals ever and he starts working with the FBI to try to track all of them down because they betrayed him and now he's gonna sh shut down everybody who ever did him wrong so it's like the top criminals and he knows them all and he's helping the FBI get them this show will get you hooked in the first five minutes because the way that I've never seen a show that started like this before like when he walked into the FBI building I'm not even gonna spoil it. Just watch the show and you're gonna be hooked right away. Trust me. The next show I'm gonna recommend is obviously I'm gonna recommend this show and it's Game of Thrones. It's 2020. If you haven't seen Game of Thrones by now, why are you here? Like, what are you doing? Go watch the show and just go watch it because. This is one of the craziest shows ever. Like, you cannot pick a favorite character because they will die. I don't know who me. <laughs> Let me not spoil anything. But the first season is crazy. The last season... Don't let other people tell you about the last season. Watch the whole show. Fall in love with the characters. Follow the story. And then you can judge season 8 for yourself. So now other people be like, oh, the show was trash. They ruined it. No, 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 no. Watch it for yourself. And enjoy it because this is one of the best shows ever um what's his I, f I forget the character's name cersei she's one of the best characters ever but you're gonna hate her freaking what's his name what's his name john snow john snow is one of the best characters ever daenerys the queen of dragons the mother of dragons the breaker of chains the baddest woman on the planet yeah just watch it for her because and oh aria just watch it for aria because she's like the most developed character on tv ever like from the beginning to the last episode yo that's crazy the next show i'm gonna recommend is one of my favorite shows of all time like top five maybe top two top three sons of anarchy this show is like I feel like it's highly underrated, but it's so good. It's about a motorcycle club, and it's like H Hamlet. If you've seen Hamlet, then you know what's going to happen on this show. No, Macbeth. Don't worry, everybody dies. <laughs> Never mind. Spoiler alert, sorry. Nah, this show is about a guy named Jack. What's his last name? <laughs> I'm blanking. Hold on. Jack. Jack. Jack Teller. How I forgot the character's name. Okay, so it's about Jack Teller. He's in a motorcycle club. And he goes through a lot of shit, okay? 
people betray him he betrays people people die people come characters are there backstabbing drugs cartels baby mama drama the show has everything everything it's like the best show ever me just watch it the next show i'm gonna recommend is one of my favorite shows of all time like top five maybe top two top three sons of anarchy this show is like i feel like it's highly underrated but it's so good it's about a motorcycle club and it's like hamlet if you've seen hamlet then you know what's gonna happen on this show no Macbeth. don't worry everybody dies <laughs> Never mind. Spoiler alert. Sorry. Nah, this show is about a guy named Jack. What's his last name? I'm blanking. Hold on. Jack. Jack. Jack Teller. How I forgot the character's name. Okay, so it's about Jack Teller. He's in a motorcycle club. And he goes to a lot of shit, okay? People betray him. He betrays people. People die. People come, characters are there, backstabbing, drugs, cartels, baby mama drama. The show has everything. Everything. It's like the best show ever. Me. Just watch it. Okay, and the last show I'm going to recommend is, it should come at, to no surprise to anybody who knows me, but Supernatural. This show has 15 seasons. Each season has 24 episodes, and I don't think I've ever seen a bad episode in all of my 300 episodes that I watch of Supernatural. It's about two brothers and the people they meet along the way. They are supernatural hunters. Like, they hunt werewolves and, like, demons and every supernatural creature, they have hunted them. And it's not like... I don't know, it's not like a goofy show. It's like really dark. Like I've cried on this show. I've laughed on the show. Like I stopped watching because I was so mad of something that happened. Like they don't if they don't care if it's like a main character, they will kill this person. It doesn't matter. Like the first season is like more scary because I don't know, it was like about Bloody Mary and all these like crazy craziness. And then in the in the later episodes is more about like the angels and the demons and all that stuff. So it gets crazy. Like, the first episode, the ending of that first episode, you're going to be like, what the... And then you're going to want to watch the next one and the next one. And, like, you have to, like, watch the whole thing. Because from episode one to now, so much stuff has happened that you're like, yo, how the hell are these people still alive? It's so crazy. The characters are amazing. They're, like, super funny. And you grow to love them. You're either Team Sam or Team Dean or team free will if you watch the show you know what i mean so watch supernatural just watch it because it's literally the best show ever and it has so many episodes that by the time you finish hopefully this quarantine thing will be over